Sunday. It's the only day I can take a nap. Can't I have a little peace and quiet? Now, Father, she's only a child. Try to control yourself. Oh. Now, Lulu, you be a good girl. Do you understand? Yes, Mama. <laughs> Lulu, I warned you. Now, Mother, she's only a child. Try to control yourself. <laughs> Lulu, this is your guardian angel won't be able to go to heaven if you continue being naughty like this. Then what shall I do to become an angel like you? Whenever you see someone in trouble, help them understand. What if I was dreaming? Oh, well, never mind. Oh. Oh. Oh, I think I'll help someone who's in trouble. That way I'll become an angel. Can you promise to be back before it gets too dark outside? Uh-huh. Then be sure you're home by five, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyone who's in trouble? <gasps> oh, just my luck. There's nobody in trouble at all. Tubby, I bet you're in trouble. I sure am in trouble. Oh, good. Wonderful. Wonderful? What do you mean? Nothing. Uh, hey, what is it that's troubling you? Come on, you could tell me. Come on. Come with me. I'll show you. <laughs> Very nice in it. But look. Oh. <laughs> I was <laughs> six pounds thinner when I bought it. I can't wear it now. Well, why don't you try to lose six pounds by tomorrow? How, huh? How? Oh, gee, there must be a way. Now let me see. There must be some kind of no way. No way. Oh, now don't give up, or I can't become an angel. Huh? Never mind. Hmm. I got it! You run! Run? Hop, two, three, four. Hop, two. Come on! Athletes always cut down their weight by running. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two.
leaving now. You don't understand, Lulu. Oh. Hey, mister. Huh? It smells like gas is leaking. What? Oh, gas leak? Where? Oh, uh oh there it is. Oh, wow. Oh, shh, boy, you saved me just in the nick of time, young man. Here, a token of my appreciation. Hmm. Tubby, don't need it. And this is for you, little girl. Well, we certainly mustn't waste them, huh? <laughs> <laughs>
This is fun. Uh, uh, uh. Lulu's nice. I'm up so high. Ooh, I am high. I'm scared. How can I get down by myself? Someone help me. we are. Why don't you try being nice to each other? No way. <sighs> hmm. Oh, I've got it. Now, this is what I want you to do. Why don't you take a notebook and write down each other's good points? Then, whenever you get mad, look in your notebook to remind you of all the things you like about each other. Then you won't have to fight so much. Huh, that may be a good idea. Huh, but my sister doesn't have any good points. Now, Iggy, you don't mean that. What? I'm gonna cream you. Oh, come on now, Annie. This is the time where you should try to see the good in your brother. What can I see in him? I wonder. Oh, yes! The other day, he let me borrow his brand new roller skates when he had just bought them. You see? That means he's generous. <laughs> That's right. Here. My good point is, I'm very generous. He isn't only generous, he's kind. I'll tell you why. He even oiled them for me. There, try them. Thanks, I like your roller skates. They're nice. Bye. Bye. I'm generous and I'm brave. See, Icky has two good points. He's great. My sister has some good points, too. Remember the other day? We were having some pie. Here, you take this one. She gave me the big one. She's generous. if you just stop to think about them. Just read them before you start quarreling. See ya. Boy, Lulu's really nice. Sure, she's my friend. She's my friend too. Shut up. You shut up or I'm gonna punch you. I'm gonna. That reminds me, let's read a note we've just written. Then we won't have to fight. Where's the notebook? What do you mean? I gave the notebook to you. Sure, it must be here in my pocket. Uh-oh, Lulu took that page. Why'd you let her do a dumb thing like that? You're stupid. It's 
your notebook. Why don't you take better care of it? You're such a dummy. Don't call me that. I can't find want. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Stop I'll it. I'll get you back. It's nice to help people in trouble. I feel like I'm really on my way to becoming an angel. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh, I know. I wonder how Wilbur's getting along. <laughs> la, la, la. May I help you? Hi, Mr. Snobbly. It's Lulu. Is Wilbur in? Master Wilbur is at home. But I'm afraid he's not receiving guests. But Mr. Snobbly, why? What do you mean? I mean, he locks himself in his room and he never comes. The cause is a bird, Miss Lulu. Hmm. Hmm. A bird? I don't see any birds here. Actually, Miss, Master Wilbur wishes to purchase a bird. Oh, I get it. And his parents won't let him, right? No, Miss. His parents have no objections. I'm the one to stop him. But how come? I am the butler, Miss. And, uh, uh, Miss Lulu, please <laughs> do not touch the antiques. As I was saying, I am the butler, and I would end up with the responsibility... Oh, 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 ah! <laughs> oh, I am the butler, and I would have to take care of the birds. I see. That's why he locks himself up in his room and never comes out, right? No, ma'am, no. I was in conversation with Master Wilbur, and I simply asked him to let go of something caught between his teeth. That made him angry. Let go of something caught between his teeth? What are you talking about? Uh, let me explain. Master Wilbur, please let go of that which is caught between your teeth. <laughs> Something caught between his teeth. It was your leg. Uh, that was precisely the situation, miss. Why didn't you just say, don't bite my leg, or something like that? Oh, I am the butler to this family. I could never permit myself to use such strong language. I see. Will you tell Wilbur to come down? I'd like to play with him. Yes, miss. Snobbly would never understand how badly I want to keep birds. I may well be cross. I'm getting angrier. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Snobbly. Yes, miss. May I help you? Don't you want something badly, too? Well, there is something I've always dreamed of. Dare I say it? A motorcycle. Motorcycle? Please, miss. Shh. I'm surprised. Mr. Snobbly wants a motorcycle? Oh, miss, it's always been my dream to be my own man on a groovy motorcycle. another to make your dream come true. A very good idea. Well, Master Wilbur, I guess we all have our dreams. Of course you may keep your birds. Bravo, bravo. I'll buy you the motorcycle. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. Oh, Master Wilbur, you've made me terribly happy. Oh. Then I can keep my birds. Oh, and I'll give them a ride on my groovy motorcycle. supposed to be home by five. When you walk through that door, you better have a good reason for being late. Uh-oh! Oh, let's see. A 
good reason. Hmm. Do you think she'll believe I'm trying to become an angel? Oh, why doesn't somebody come and help me out of trouble? Oh.